and Democratic Nursing Organization of South Africa has flagged alleged inhumane conditions at Guruman District Hospital out in the Northern Cape. Denosa has approached ASA Human Rights Commission and the Nursing Council to look into the situation at the hospital. Now, the union has given the Department of Health in the province until the 14th of May to improve the situation. And Anthony Vassen is Denosa's Northern Cape Provincial Secretary joining us now from uh, Kimberley and thank you so much Anthony for your time good morning to you uh, perhaps let's start here paint us that picture of uh, some of the conditions with which nurses have to work and then what's really happening in our hospitals out in uh, the Northern Cape province look uh, good morning uh, to me good morning to your uh, viewers yeah no the situation was really bad um, uh, last week, we, we visited the Kuruman Hospital after receiving several complaints from our members. Uh, and at the Kuruman Hospital, you have a maternity ward which uh, which can occupy where which can have 25 uh, ladies at one time. Uh, but what we found were 53 uh, ladies in that ward, uh, 28 of whom were basically lying on the floor on, on blankets and so forth. And some of them were in, in having labor pains and so forth. I mean, that to us was very inhumane. Um, to have a woman that has come to the hospital to receive care, to deliver a baby, to end up lying on a blanket on the floor uh, while she's having pains, uh, that to us is just very inhumane. And mm. we, it cannot be condoned in any form or shape. So um, that was the, basically the setup. And that, that does not include the, the babies that were delivered because at that time there were about uh, 20 babies in that ward and uh, about seven of them were very sick babies. There were also a few neonatal wards and, and when it, I'm sorry, neonatal uh, babies. And when we, uh, what I found was that uh, there was a neonate baby that was being treated under a baby warmer. The baby warmer is usually the warmer where uh, the, a newly born baby is put under just mm. to warm up a bit before we put back for the mother. But the neonatal baby was being treated under the baby home, home with only a nasal cannula uh, with no monitoring, nothing at all, on a monitoring machines or anything. That, a baby like that usually would be treated um, in a neonatal uh, high care or ICU. Mm. Uh, but this wasn't the case at all because that hospital in itself uh, is not equipped to, to deal with uh, uh, such type of, of uh, patients. Yeah, Anthony, if I may just come in there, what's the Provincial Health Department saying about all these complaints? Look, ma'am, uh, the, for the past few years, we've been engaging, engaging with the Department of Health on many issues within the, the province when it comes to the condition under which nurses and other healthcare workers have to work. But we all we have received over the past few years were promises. Uh, and I mean, this is not the situation that has arisen overnight. It is something that has been coming along for a very long time uh, to the point where it is now, where you find these inhumane conditions uh, for uh, these patients. And Kuruman Hospital is not the only hospital in the province that is, is suffering from such uh, conditions. Last year we had uh, strikes in, in the Maharani and Pokwane areas, which is Hatsvater and Warrantan, because of similar situations. Uh, then, then those strikes, we, we, we carried on for six months because, and, and nothing just came from it. Right. The department is just not willing to employ more nurses. They are just not willing to provide the necessary equipment. Mm. And and what's, what makes it worse is that the top structure within the Department of Health is so unstable because over the last five or six years, it, it has been only acting HODs, action, acting chief directors. And every right. time a, a new uh, HOD comes into act, you have to start from over. You understand? Mm, mm, so mm. we're just getting nowhere. Yeah, no and I suppose that's why you had to now write uh, to the Human Rights uh, you know, Commission to intervene. You've given them a, a deadline as to when to respond, I'm hoping, Anthony, that you do get the response and we could have this conversation again. Of course, so joining us, Lady Nossus, Northern Cape Provincial Secretary uh, from Kimberley, tabling uh, you know, the dire situation out at the Kuruman District Hospital.